Good morning everyone, it's Agnes. I'm doing a viewer question via email today. It's from P. Okay, P says, I enjoy watching your videos as I've done most of your meditations. I feel extremely well after doing them. While I've gotten my SP to contact me, I feel the need to give you some insight into our relationship. While most of your videos are people who have been left, I broke up with my person and I have hurt them tremendously. I basically went out with another ex the night I had broke up with my specific person. Things led to other things and we were intimately involved. While I was sure I was done with my specific person, I didn't hold back from telling him what had happened. I didn't think he would take it as badly as he did. As I realized that I probably shouldn't have told him I did. While I wait for the storm to pass, I feel as if I'm meditating to heal their wounds, not mine. <clears throat> I feel terribly bad something I did affected them, but I was sure of my decision when I broke up with them. Now I find myself wanting to be with them again. <clears throat> my self-esteem is there. I know we've a great, we're a great match. We bring out the best of one another. I have given him some time to heal. I project unconditional love to him as I genuinely do love him still. I ultimately, I would want things to fizzle out. My question is, how do I meditate for things to change when I've been the person to have left them? I do most of my meditations from the end result and I do feel that this has worked a lot. I just would like some clarification or feedback on how I should approach this situation. Okay. So, you've said something that jumped out at me, I feel as if I'm meditating to heal their wounds, not mine. Well, no, you're always working on you. Yes, there is a point where you make amends to people and you do your best to say you're sorry, apologize, and then change your behavior. Most importantly is the change in behavior but you're always working on you because you're working on the part of you that did this. You're working on the part of you that now feels guilty. You're working on the part of you that destroyed something good, if that's how you see it, P, okay? So I think you're on the right track by sending and radiating love out to the person. And I think if you go to, on my channel, there's a meditation to forgive the self and to forgive another. Just do the first part, obviously, because the other person didn't do anything in this case. And there's a meditation to clear old stuff with loved ones. And I would also check out the spotlight meditation. I'll put the links to all of those down below for you. Okay. I think this is it's great that you've written this in because I think it will help the people on the channel understand a little bit more the other side and also that the other side can change, you see, because you were very clear that you wanted an ending and a breakup and then something happened within you and it changed. So I think it's good to hear this story from the other side. Thank you for sending it in and thank you for asking your question. I would also look at the Ho'oponopono playlist um, on my channel. There's also a lot about Ho'oponopono in YouTube, on YouTube, for you to have a look at because it's really about working on the self and dissolving the part of you that created this situation, okay? So lots of love. I also will put down below, Maria, a viewer, has sent in a fantastic uh, YouTube of two men that two young men that are discussing Neville and breaking down the most important parts of Neville and making it in clear, simple English and how to apply it. I think it's a great YouTube to watch for those of you that are interested and I'll put that down below as well. Thank you, Maria, for sharing that with me. All right, lots of love, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.